on. Our next candidate is Jim Kinsley. Jim, you have two minutes to introduce yourself. Okay. Hi. Uh, I'm Jim Kinsley, and I'm running for the City Council of Coos Bay. Um, well, basically, Coos Bay is, is, in, is in pretty good shape. And, uh, but, you know, there's always room for improvement. And that's why I'm, uh, and I can bring stuff to the table, you know, new ideas, etc. And that's why I'm running. Uh, and my wants are is to keep Coos Bay safe. Uh, unlike what's going on in the bigger cities, um, what they're experiencing, we don't need around here. Um, I support all first responders. That comprises of police, fire, EMS, and ESO. In fact, I've been a volunteer fireman for th uh, 32 years, and also I was deputized with the ESO um, at the sheriff's office. Uh, for three, almost three years when, uh, in fact, my cook was the captain then when I was with the posse. Um, now, as also, I work to ensure your tax dollars are being spent efficiently. Uh, property taxes, property dollars, tax dollars goes to run cities and counties. And uh, civil service workers and politicians are paid through your tax dollars. As earlier said, spending money wisely and also on projects get the most bang for the buck to make sure that we spend money wisely, he says. Hello? How would you improve communication between the city government and the citizens? Uh, well, we have websites. I would imagine we have a computer website that would be um, that would be the, the the best way for them to get a hold of us. Emailing is, I think, the best way. And uh, when if people would come to the council meetings and express their ideas. We'll know what they're thinking. We, I mean, we, we're not mind readers or anything like that. Um, just uh, come to the meetings and, and talk to us. And I'm always, I will always be available. I'm not going to give out my personal phone number, but uh, anyone who wants to email the city and get a hold of me can and will. What should be the city's approach to the problem of the unhoused? Well, that's a problem that's been growing and uh, it's, a, it's a tough one. It's gonna cost a lot of money, but then again, if those people who are not working uh, want to uh, work for the city. We can do something like like the CCC, uh, like Roosevelt had during the Depression. Uh, put people to work on little projects, and that would help out. It would help the city and you know keep it clean, et cetera, and help those who are unable to get a job or whatever for one reason or another. That's provided, though, that they're not on drugs and strung out on uh, and on booze, etc. Uh, they have to have some responsibility for us to be able to work together. I believe that, and, uh, and uh, I think we can we can help each other. Given the continuing crisis of global climate change, what would be your approach to protecting the environment? Actually, I don't think there is a whole lot because a lot of our environment is controlled by the sun with sunspots. Sunspots are what cause warming and cooling of the earth. The radiation from the sun to the earth and into the rest of the uh, uh, 
universe varies with the amount of sunspots. Also, um, we go through natural climate change things. We've been in how many ice ages where we the, or the earth to totally freezes over and then it thaws out. It comes and goes. It's like a cycle, it, like a wheel. It goes around and around. It comes and goes. And I don't think there's a whole lot that we can do on that. Okay, okay the fourth question. Is there waste in the city budget? If so, where would you make cuts and why? First of all, I have to get in to see what's going on. As a civilian, I'm an outsider and I am not privy to the workings of the city on the inside. But once I'm in, uh, then I can go from there. I mean, I can't give you an answer right off because um, I just don't know. Uh, but one thing I do notice though sometimes very often you get a job that one person or two people can do. You have three and four people standing around. Uh, that's something that, uh, see, I've been in construction, and I know that you don't just stand around. And uh, it's, you know, uh, it can be held, it can be handled. Uh, if I, Once I'm in and I get to see the exact, well, what's going on. And I'll go from there. Okay, you have one minute now to talk about anything you would like or to wind up. Um, when I'm elected as your counselor, I, uh, I will work for hard for you to find solutions for the current, uh, uh, for, for the current obstacles that uh, are here in our city. Um, so ask yourself, are you satisfied with the way things are going or would you like to see more efficiency uh, in the government? I leave this uh, up to you in your hands and I ask you to, to, when you complete your ballot, to check my name, Jim Kingsley, to represent you. And thank you for this interview and thank you all.